This is Beth Still from Free Tech for Teachers, and recently I wrote a post that showed you how to reclaim space on your Chrome bookmark bar by creating favicons. And today I want to take that one step further and, how, and show you how to reclaim a little more space by creating folders and subfolders. So, um, if you're like most teachers, when you go to favorite something, it goes directly to your bookmark bar. And then a few months go by and you realize it's just kind of a jumbled mess. And you need a way to kind of get those things that you've bookmarked organized so they're easy to use. So what you're going to want to do is point um, your cursor to an empty spot on your bookmark bar here. And you're going to right click and you're going to click add folder. And for this demo here, I have a US history class that I want to add, and also geography. Because I have a couple of bookmarks here that I need to put into folders. So I have this 12 volcanoes around the world that I'm going to just simply drag into the geography folder. And I'm gonna drop it on top of that and it puts it in the folder. And then I also have this new perspectives on the west that I'm going to put in US and also the Civil War that I'm going to drag and put into the West. And sometimes it doesn't cooperate. There we go. Okay, but now I have two completely unrelated um, bookmarks in my US history folder. So I can tell that I'm probably going to have quite a few bookmarks for the Civil War and quite a few for History of the West. So I want to make a subfolder. And there's two different ways I can do this. I could right click on top of the folder and I could add another folder or I could simply make another folder out here. So I'll call this one the West. And I'm just going to drag the West on top of Civil War or on top of US. And then I can take my bookmark which is this one, and I can drop it into the West. And then you'll see I have the subfolder in my main folder of US. And let me show you the other way we can do this. So I made the West folder over here, but now I'm gonna make the one for the Civil War by right clicking, add folder, Civil War, and add. And then that puts the Civil War folder in here and it's empty. So I'm going to drag, if I can grab it, the Civil War on top of its folder and now it's in the proper folder. And I'm not sure how many subfolders you can make, but I know you can go at least one more level. So maybe you were teaching an entire class on the Civil War and it had maybe like seven different units. So you could go through and create seven subfolders and then move your um, resources around into those folders based on wherever you needed them during that unit. Um, this is a fabulous way for um, students to organize their bookmark bar and then as they're working through different projects and classes to create a subfolder within their class to house different documents that they're working on temporarily. So maybe they have a research paper that they're writing for English, while at the same time, maybe they have kind of a current events um, or bell ringer type document that they work on nearly every day, that could be in that folder too. So then it's a very quick way to access um, things that they need throughout their class. So I hope this helps you out a little bit and good luck creating your folders.